Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make this cute gingerbread man cupcake topper. Okay, so to begin with I coloured some modelling paste with caramel colour meal food colouring and I'll leave a link to everything that I use in this tutorial in the description so you can take a closer look later. Okay, so I'm just rolling out my paste to a, about 5mm thick and I'm just using a gingerbread man cutter just to cut out my shape. Just going to make sure there's no rough edges there. Pop it onto a foam pad. And now this is why I've made it a little bit thicker, like 5mm, just so I can go around and round the edges to make him look more like he, he's been baked in the oven. So I'm just going around all the edges and just smoothing it and curving it round. So now I've got a ball tool and I'm just going to gently mark him where I want the eyes to go. And now I've got my veiner tool and I'm just going to push in the end there to make a smile. There. Okay, so now I've just got two small balls of blue modelling paste. going to pop them into the eye holes and then secure with my ball tool. There we go. And then I've got the smaller end of the ball tool where I'm just going to mark some smaller holes where I'll put like the pupils. I'm just moving around in a circle just to get them a little bit bigger because I want some nice big eyes. So I've got two small balls of black modelling paste, just popping them into position and then just gently flatten them with the ball tool. Don't push too much, you don't want it to be completely flat, I want it to kind of googly eyes. And you can see again, I'm kind of going around in a circle just to make it a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to make the smile by rolling a small piece of black modelling paste on my palms of my hand so it tapers at either end. And I'm just going to stick that into the little groove I made earlier. I'm using clear alcohol or you could use an edible glue if you prefer. So just gently form that into that little like semicircle groove that we made with the veining tool. And there we go. So now I've just got two small balls of white modelling paste. I'm just going to flatten with my ball tool and then gently stick to about 11 o'clock in the eyes. Just some little highlights there. If you do find this tutorial useful, please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help my little channel. Thank you. Secure with the ball tool. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to create some little eyelashes. And again, I'm going to roll a small piece of black modelling paste on the palm of my hands and it will taper at either end. I'm just checking it for length there before adding a little bit of clear alcohol around the top of the eye and then gently shaping it with my brush. So I wanted a little bit of a flick at the end there. So I'm just going to push that round and then I'm just going to just flick the end up. And there we go. So I'm just going to repeat that with the other side. And if you're new to my channel, I'd just like to say a big welcome and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next tutorial. So as we haven't completely flattened the eye, we can use this as a guide to wrap the eyelashes around. Okay, so gently shape it around the eye. And then I'm just going to flick the end up there. Okay, so now I'm going to add some little cheeks. I'm just going to make some little indents with my ball tool. And then I'm just going to pop in two small balls of pink modelling paste and then flatten with my ball tool. And there we go. So now we're going to make like the curvy icing bits on the arms and legs. And I've just got some white modeling paste and I'm using my cake smoother to roll it out to a thin tube. I'm going to cut them into four and then carry on rolling it out to make sure they're all the same width. And then once I'm happy, I'm just going to gently kind of curve them around to make a little curvy line. So I'm going to do that on all four and then I'm just going to add a little bit of clear alcohol to the bottom of the leg there and then I can just stick my curvy line in place. So I'm just going to do the same with the other leg. And then I'm just going to trim the sides off so it fits neatly. So once I've done that, I'm just going to repeat the same process for the arms. 
Okay, so now I'm going to make a little bit of white icing on the top of his head. And I've just got a small ball of white modelling paste that I'm just going to roll out quite thinly. And then I've just got my wavy edge cutter, which you can see there. And I'm just going to gently cut out my shape. And you can see there it's got a wavy edge. So I'm just going to gently pull out with my finger and thumb. And then I'm just going to use the other side of the cutter just to get a nice circular shape there which matches the top of the head. And I'm just going to check that for size before adding a little bit of clear alcohol and sticking that into position. So just pop it on there and just use your fingers just to tape it around the top of the head. And there we go. So now I'm going to make the bow and I've got two piece sized balls of red modeling paste and a smaller ball. I'm just going to flatten the larger ones into a flat triangle shape, which you can see there. Make sure they're the same size. OK, then I'm just going to stick those into position. There we go. Make sure they're touching. And then I'm just going to get that little ball of red volume paste, form it into a little bit of an oval shape, and then just stick that in the middle there. And there we go. So now I'm going to make the buttons, and I've got two small balls of green modelling paste. I'm just going to make some little indents with my ball tool there where they're going to go. And then I'm just going to stick those into position. And then I'm just going to flatten with my ball tool. And then I'm just going to make a little indent in the middle with the smaller part of the ball tool. And then I'm just going to use my needle tool just to mark two little holes in the centre there for buttons. Okay, so now I'm going to make the candy cane. So I'm just rolling out some white modelling paste the same way as I did for the little icing bit. And then the same with some red modelling paste. Do you want them to make them the same width? And then just a little bit of clear alcohol or glue to one edge of each of the long tubes. And then we're just going to roll them around each other. Just gently roll them. And then the more you roll, you'll see that candy cane forming. So once you've done that, just use your cake smoother again, just to push it all together. You can see we've got a candy cane colours going on and then you can just cut your candy cane to size. So I'm just curving over at the top there and I'm just going to check the size of my candy cane on the body of the gingerbread man. So I know where to cut it. There we go. And then I'm just going to stick that into position. Okay. So lastly, I'm just going to pop my gingerbread man onto a disc of white modelling paste that I made the day before, so it set hard already. And then just to decorate it further, I just added some star sprinkles. Again, I'll list everything in the description so you can take a closer look at everything that I've used. And you can see here that I just decided to add some further highlights, so some smaller balls of white modelling paste to the eyes at about five o'clock and secured them with the ball tool. So that's your gingerbread cut picked up and made. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.